This little video is, a, is just part of a blog that I'm doing around how Office 365 helps us to develop that creativity, which of course is a digital literacy skill. If you know me by now, you'll know that I'm a very big PowerPoint fan. So of course, the first thing I'm going to very quickly show you again is a design ideas in PowerPoint. And of course, all of these are new features comes in the latest version of Office. So uh, if I'm in PowerPoint, this is the type of slide that I'll use. So don't change it to one of the other types of slides. It needs to be this specific side. I am going to drag images onto this page. Now, previously it was only four and lately I see you can drag up to six images. So that's pretty cool. But I am going to just uh, drag a couple of images onto this page and uh, I'll show you what happens when you add images to your slides. So there we'll see uh, the images have been added. There's actually a couple of images behind each other. If design ideas doesn't automatically come up on the right, it might just be that your uh, network's a little bit slow. And you can actually achieve that by going to design and there's design ideas on the right hand side. Be very careful of dragging images in here that are way too big. So when I mean too big, and I mean size-wise, I actually mean uh, megs. So sometimes if the images are too big, then it just doesn't work so well. So at the moment, I've got four images here, and you'll see that there's different options to immediately choose from, which I think is pretty amazing. Some of them that I really like using as well is these where it actually cuts it out. And uh, sometimes I'll just use Snipping Tool, and I'll snip that for banners in uh, my SharePoint sites or on my news articles or even for my um, Euro web parts. So a lot of cool ideas there. You'll see that um, as you insert or add or delete some of the images, so let's just add another image and see what it does to the design ideas. And there you can see it's completely changed that again now. Again, such cool uh, images to pick from. So you can even delete some of these images. Again, there you can see it's completely changed the styles here with uh, what you can use. I definitely use this a lot when I create graphics for SharePoint Online, for my sways and uh, for those type of things. So again, you can remove images as well. So I can keep on removing images and see what it actually does to the specific design. Um, you'll see this is definitely also one of my favorites. So I'm going to show you how to, uh, to do something cool with this specific one in a moment. So I've picked one of the design ideas now. And uh, as mentioned, this is one that I really do like. Now, once uh, you've got the design, once you've picked the design that you want to use, you can then make changes to this. I'm going to just remove these text boxes because I actually don't want them. And I'm going to just close the design ideas. I would like to add another circle in here. So um, if I go insert and I go shapes, I can pick circles. So how do I keep the aspect ratio of a circle or a square? Is I'll just keep shifting on my keyboard. So that means it'll come out a perfect um, circle or square. So I'm going to just make this a bit larger. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the shape. So firstly, the outline, I want it to be the same color as the outline. So you'll see there, that I actually use the eyedropper. That's a pretty cool tool that you can use in PowerPoint to pick exact color. I'm going to just right click on this and go format shape. And uh, I'm going to go to line and say that I want the line. Actually, I want the line thicker. So I want the line to look the same as the other circles that design ideas has given me. Then, of course, I can also pick a new um, internal color or inside color for this. So let's pick uh, this crazy green that's there. And I'm going to set the transparency. On that just to give a cool uh, effect and of course now you can go and uh, insert word art for example so I can say that this is a uh, digital literacy skill to be creative so um, I never use the word art that they give me I'm too pedantic for that so I'm going to clear the word art so let's just select that again clear the word art and then I can actually set my own formatting I don't want those shadows and things I'm a very, very big fan of uh, Segui, which is what Microsoft uses as well. And uh, of course, I can just make this smaller now. Again, I can use the color picker to, uh, to pick a different color for this uh, specific font. So that's how easy it is to create a whole new page or something. And then of course, I can very easily just use a snipping tool. So if I search for a snipping tool, I can very, very easily just uh, use my snipping tool to snip this image and I can then save it or uh, I can use it in any other program or document. So that's quite a cool tip for uh, for using design ideas and then also inserting shapes, just a couple of tips on that. Then of course as well in uh, in PowerPoint, another couple of cool, really, really cool things is, uh, is the morph um, feature as well as um, the zoom feature. So I'll show you how zoom works first. Uh, if I go, 
to this slide of mine. You'll see that the slide's got an overview, so think even of uh, project timelines or something that's got a, like a map, a world map is even a great idea. And you'll see that I've got specific slides that speaks to the components that's on this specific slide. So for critical thinking and evaluation, there's a slide. And I wanna be able to navigate back and forth to these slides. So the easiest way to do that is to go under insert, you'll see that there's zoom. I'm gonna go summary zoom, and it's gonna ask me which slides I want to navigate to. So these are the slides I wanna be able to navigate to. So I'm gonna just select them. And once I say insert, you'll see that it builds me a summary slide with all those slides on it. So I'm gonna be very sneaky. I'm gonna take this uh, title off there. And uh, what I am going to do is uh, I am gonna make these much smaller as well. So firstly, give me a moment. Firstly, I just want to make it the same size as uh, my slide. And then I'm gonna select all these slides and I'm gonna just make them all much more, oops, much smaller. I'm gonna show you now what I'm gonna do with this. So that's my summary zoom. I'm gonna to go to this uh, image that I want to use. I'm gonna just cut that out, bring it here, and I'm gonna right click and send it to the back. So then I can delete that slide. So that means I now have, uh, so let's say um, e-safety. So now I can make the slides much smaller. So they don't have to be um, that big as what it gives it to you. Uh, proficient uh, cultural and social understanding. You can definitely have some fun as well by actually turning the slide. So um, I'm gonna turn this one sideways and this one I'm gonna completely turn upside down. So all I did is I did insert section zoom and I then inserted an image in the background. So let me show you what this looks like. So if I go to presentation mode now, you'll see that there's uh, little blocks and as I said, you can make them bigger or smaller. So I can say, let's take a look at critical thinking and evaluation. So let's talk about that. And it'll actually zoom into it. And if I click on that again, it actually zooms out. So let's take one of the ones that I've turned um, on its side. So proficient communicator. And there we go. That's proficient communicator. So that's insert section zoom, which is a pretty cool um, tool to use as well in, uh, in PowerPoint. And then um, lastly, I just want to show you morph. So everyone knows what transitions are, and that's what happens between the slides. And animation, of course, is what you do with objects. So if I had to take uh, this image, so um, um, I can then take some of these people, or well, objects, or shapes, or sizes. I'm going to go new slide, and I'm actually going to paste it on this slide. And on this slide, I want them up in this corner. Definitely want to be having a chat with these. And of course, I can add more text and things now as well. So now any object shapes uh, text, if I then select these two slides and I go to transitions and I set morph, you'll see that there is effect options on the right hand. So I'm going to say not just objects, not just words. I want to morph characters and I'm going to set it to 150 because otherwise it's just too slow. I haven't spent a lot of time in this now. Of course, you can get really, really super um cool about these things so I'll just very quickly go and insert a shape here at the top as well again keep my shifting to keep aspect ratio I'm going to just make this a black icon and then also introduce you to inserting icons in PowerPoint so insert icons and uh, you can then pick an icon and these are great great graphics that you can edit and recolor as well so as soon as I have the image and for example I'll add it there so if I had to add this to my next slide as well it might be a logo or something that you're trying to use and um, I can now make this bigger and let's do a test and see if we change the shape so if we edit the shape and we make the shape a triangle now or maybe a diamond and uh, just put that there so I've already selected more from this so let's put this in presentation mode and see what it does so there's my first slide. I'm going to talk about this. Digital literacy and training is super important to me. And if you click on the slide, then it goes next. And that's what it does. That's Morph. How pretty cool is that? So go and mess around with Morph and with the shapes and things. There's definitely a lot that you can do in PowerPoint. And I can promise you, if you thought you weren't creative, don't worry about it. PowerPoint is creative enough on its own. We'll, uh, we'll catch up soon.